it is 100 years since the first uh, international agreements on drug control. Whether you see that 100 years of success or 100 years of failure, I think there are all views across the spectrum. Uh, my personal view and the view of International Drug Policy Consortium is primarily we are talking about failure. The architects of the system set out to resolve the global drug problem by repression so that the supply of drugs was stifled and people did not want to use drugs and that demonstrably has not happened so we can't call this in any way a success. There are some people including I think Mr Fedotov who is calling on us to be better at repression, to be stronger and to, to, to be better coordinated. But I think most of our members and our movement are saying we know enough now, there is enough clear evidence that we have to change direction. T and I made a position paper on, on this uh, anniversary. What, what do you say in your position paper? Yeah, the fact that that consumption level of opium in Asia has reduced so much is, yeah, is, is used as the main argument to claim success for, uh, for the control regime itself. Part of the reduction of, of that widespread consumption has to do with the introduction of a whole range of new medicines on the market. The first treaties you know, were not introducing immediately a, a prohibition regime. It only tried to put some restrictions on the international trade of the, the, the controlled uh, substances. Yesterday Mr. Morales uh, presented a couple of coca products and uh, he urged governments to, to, to correct a historical error, which is banning of coca chewing. How would you comment this? Yeah, he's uh, perfectly in his right, of course. It is one of the most blatant errors, I would say, in the, in the history of this century of drug control. This one article in the 1961 convention that literally says that the chewing of coca leaf has to be abolished. This is impossible to defend today. They withdrew from the single convention and that came into effect on the 1st of January. And they are now trying to become a member again to re-adhere with a reservation which says in Bolivia the use of coca and consumption of coca in its natural form will be allowed and also cultivation and distribution marketing for the uses in its natural form will be allowed. We had Evo Morales here uh, on Monday talking about why his country wants to make some changes to their drug control uh, uh, policies and there are many other Latin American countries now starting to explore these options. At the moment we see still from the UN agencies is an attempt to try to stop these processes where we do need to encourage them to be engaged with them and uh, look for carefully planned improved policies rather than trying to pretend that everything is fine. Yesterday, Gil Kalikowski, the U.S. drug czar, probably posted his message to the Latin Americans when he said that we strongly oppose legalization. At the same time, we hear from Latin American leaders that they are, they need an open debate on legalization. What do you think? What are the chances of of, of this kind of movement, which is coming from Latin America now? The call to at least open the discussion about it and including about the possibility of a legal regulated market is, is getting more and more support from Latin American uh, countries. The countries that are now calling for opening of this debate, most of those countries you know, have, um, have not allowed also this, these past few years even relatively minor legislative changes in their own countries uh, that they, they could introduce without um, challenging the, the treaties. Think about the impact of the resolutions adopted here at the CND. What is the like the afterlife of these resolutions? CND resolutions, most of them you never hear from them again. 
at least not at national level. They have very little impact at national level. What they do is they enter into the UN lexicon, which is where a lot of this, these ideas around drug policy are, are, are thrashed out on the international level. What's the most important issue for you here at the CND? <coughs> one of the things I'm really excited about this week is one of the resolutions is about reducing opiate overdose deaths. If that resolution goes through, it means the countries, member states of the UN can go to WHO, UNODC, and ask for help in setting up overdose uh, death prevention programs, which will really, it's a real practical resolution and will save people's lives.